Hi, I'm just me. Hi, and I'm Ralgash. And this is December's Tokyo Treat. <laughs> is it heavy? It is not light. Let me see. It's about Tokyo oh. Treat weight. Yeah. It's not shape box, so. Tokyo Treat has once again improved themselves and are now offering even more candy and snacks and stuff. More of it. More Degashi snacks? All of it. <gasps> more of everything. I love the Degashi snacks. But they may or may not have taken out their little pamphlet to make room for all these snacks, so we're gonna find out. Here, I'm gonna right take now. off my jacket and get right into this. There we go. Okay. So Tokyo Treat is a monthly subscription box of candy and snacks and such. Uh, there are three size. no, no, now there are two sizes, because they got rid of the smallest one, so there's a regular and a premium, we have the premium. I'm going to have to update the information, and um, yeah, let's just, let's just get in there. In there. <laughs> yes! Okay, yes. Yes. Oh, they simplified it. Uh, but at least it's here. Wait. Wait. Try again. Here, I'll turn. I don't think there's a pamphlet. There's no pamphlet. There's just this. Oh. Is that for the DIY? No. You mean we have to look up from full on how to do the DIYs now? Yep. Oh my. Okay, I'm not okay with this Tokyo treat. No. We need a pamphlet. We need a list of what's in here. We need information on the DIY. I couldn't find it on the website. I could find what was in November's, but not December's. So... Uh, I hope there's nothing apple or nut in here. How do I look up the treats even if I don't even speak Japanese? You don't. It's Russian roulette now. Japanese roulette? What Candy there, roulette. What if there's shrimp in something? And then one of us is going to die. <laughs> this is not okay, Tokyo Treat. You're getting an email. Anyway. Oh, let's see. There's a big bag. I bet you it's like a chip or something. It looks like potato chips. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like regular potato chips in a kind of a squishy bag. <laughs> there we go. Smells like a potato chip. Yeah. This is the regular looking potato chip. It tastes like a regular potato chip. Mmm, I like that though. It is a good potato chip. Mm -hmm. Very well done. It's like Lay's or something. Better. It tastes better than Lay's. So far, so good. Yeah. There's winner number one. I guess I don't have to show you. I can just show them right away because there's nothing to read. It, it looks, looks like barbecue, like rib, whatever it is. Barbecue ribs. That's I think that's the flavor, barbecue ribs. That's definitely barbecue. It's like a barbecue plus. barbecue puffed st corn snack. Mmm, that is delicious. That's another winner. 
That's a good box so far. Mm -hmm. You know, the boxes are never really that bad, eh? We never are. Man, if I had the money, I'd order myself a box of this stuff. Mm. And a little bag. Oh, this will be sweet. I think we've had these before. We have had these before. Yeah, in, a in various format. flavors. Yeah. In much larger bags. Yep. They're just little corn snacks. Yeah. I'm not sure we've ever had them in strawberry. I've got a sneaking suspicion that this is going to taste like a little snack that my uh, second youngest great niece really enjoys. Right? Those little snacks, they're like a yogurt and something, and they're made for kids, little babies, because it's safe for them. It looks like that. Kind of tastes like that. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it tastes just like it. Almost. A little stronger taste to this. That's a pretty nice strawberry. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we've had this one or some one that was we've similar. We've had one similar. Oh. So this should be pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> In every premium Tokyo treat, you get a DIY and a beverage and a special item. We do the DIY and taste the beverage in a separate episode, so subscribe and hit the notifications and all that jazz. And um, watch me screw this up. Oh, it'll be fun. It's what I do best. Hi! Oh, it's grape flavored. Mm. Oh. We've oh. had these before too. They're also just little. I've corn never had the grape snack. one. Never the grape flavor, but the item itself is a little corn snack. So how do you get into this? Oh, there it is. So, the base of this was a corn snack that we've had before, but we've never had the strawberry flavor. And this is a corn snack that we've had before in other flavors, but never grape. A little package. Oh. I don't generally like grape flavor. <laughs> I do. I love it. Oh, that is definitely grape. Mm. <laughs> I don't care for that at all. And yeah, no, that that wasn't very good. I, I thought it was wonderful. If you really like grape, then yeah, but <laughs> if you don't like grape, don't do that. I really like grape. Yeah. <sighs> Awful lot of bags. We've had like one box. What is that? Hopefully not poisonous. What is it? I have no idea. It doesn't say anything at all. It's got drummers on it and a little housey thing. I'm not sure what kind of building that is. I have no idea what this is. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's open the suspicious package and find out. How fun of these things. Oh, I'm pretty sure these are puffed little tofu bits. Oh, <laughs> we've had similar in other packages that they had the same texture as that package. It sounds weird, but the bag feels different. It might have a little bit of soy on it. Probably. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's spicy. It is. That's really mm. good. It's like a creeper mm. spice. Oh, that is wonderful. Mm. I Oops, I got two things. 
picking them up one thing at a time. What's this? Oh. What? Oh, they're little bags of potato chips. Another thing that they've gonna that they've started giving is something called a share pack. I think that's it. Where you can like share with your friends. Oh, but so you want one and I open one? Sure. Okay. Oops. Okay, that's mine. It's supposed to be able to rip easy. There you go. Very cool. So, there's two of them still stuck together, but they don't come apart that easy. I thought they would, as you can see. They're all different pictures. I wonder if there's different flavors. I'm not going to try all of them. We'll just... No, we'll find out. Open two. That's all we need to do. Oh. Well, that's a bit strange. I thought it was going to be like a potato chip. Mm hmm Oh, that's really interesting. I don't know what this is. Show the inside of it when you take a bite. It looks it looks like it might be. It's a rice cracker. Oh yeah. the same flavor. They're really crunchy and they're... I don't know what flavor it is. If I were to really describe it, it's salty and like it's got like a nice savory touch, touch to it mm -hmm. and just the right amount of crunchiness. It's like a almost a barbecue but not. Yeah. Like um. I want to say teriyaki but I don't think it's quite that either. No, no. It is really good though. I really wish I knew what this was. It looks like something that could be chewy. It looks like high chew. Mm -hmm. Oh. It is not high chew. It makes a noise. Huh. What's, is that a picture of an elephant on it or what is that? It's a guy with the a exclamation brain. mark in his brain. What does it do to your brain? I have no idea. Uh -oh. Puts exclamation marks in that? I'm a little worried about this one. I can't tell what it is. Does it smell? Oh. Oh my. Oh. It's gum. I'm pretty sure it's gum. Oh yeah? It's green gum. Very minty. Mm -hmm. But we have food to eat and that's going to take forever to chew. Oh my god, is this minty. Yep, yeah, it's very minty. I don't know if you've ever eaten clorets. It reminds me of a claret. You know what? This is refreshing. I really, really like it. That is... Mm-hmm. Hang on to that. That was good. Yeah. Some of the best tasting gum we've had lately. I've never had gum that good before. Try Clorets. Tastes like that. No, I didn't. I don't even think Clorets is like that. Okay. Now everything's going to taste wrong. Oh. Giant bag of Kit Kat. Uh, what flavor... I'm going to guess green tea. I bet you it's green tea. I think it's matcha. Matcha? Oh, that'll be good too. 
Watch is like green tea, but smoother. Okay, oh, one or the other. Let's find out. I'm gonna link to our Kit Kat video. Yes, matcha. Because we had this in our Kit Kat video. And you can tell that it's matcha because it's got the little whisk. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what that means? I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Hmm. Not, I'm pretty sure they only use that sort of whisk for matcha. I want to learn Japanese. Me too. That'll be fun. People are disturbed. People are uncomfortable. Oh no! Save that later. Mm. Mm. Matcha is my favorite candy tea flavor. It is so smooth and creamy. Mm. Mm. The wafer is really crunchy. Oh yes, but not too crunchy. It's soft and crunchy. It's like pear. I think it's sparkling pear juice. Yeah. And that will be with our DIY. Mm -hmm. Again, we do those in a separate episode. Subscribe and hit the notification button and watch us do this. Could be nice to wash it down with. Is there anything more? Just a little load. Oh my! You see that there's still a table here? That means we're not done. Okay. Oh, what's this? It looks like a raspberry candy of some sort. Turn it around. Turn it around? I'm pretty sure that's the front. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like a raspberry candy of some sort. <laughs> so this is one of those cool bags that does itself back up again. I have all the resealable bags. Yeah. It's a sticky little ball of candy. I think there might be something inside these. Mm. Or there might just be a solid ball of hard candy. Mm. This is really light. Mm -hmm. That's a theme among Japanese sweets. The flavors are, well, let me just generalize here. Flavors are usually like lighter and softer. Nicer. Mm -hmm. Instead of just sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no chemical burn. It's just solid. Mm -hmm. Great, now it's all stuck in my teeth. It's just basic hard candy, crunchy and sticky. Mm -hmm. Not something I go out of my way for. <gasps> my favorite kind! Oh my bow! I love oh my bows! It is a tube of corn snack in various flavors. I'm this all is Christmas excited. flavor. Oh, it's Christmas flavored. Ooh, that'll be nice. I actually want to try some this time, so I'm gonna. Okay. Normally, I just let her have it because I'm not a huge fan, but oh, I'm I want to know what Christmas tastes like. Yeah. It's gotta, gotta have that curiosity going on. Okay. Christmas sure does smell a lot like... Corn soup? It does just smell like corn snow. Mm. 
Yep. I like the seasoning. It's like uh, cream and onion corn. Mm -hmm. That's really crunchy. It's melty. It's savory. It was. Mm. I like the soft texture of it. The way it melted in my mouth when I started crunching down on it. And the savory flavor to it. It was just perfect. Nice harmony of... Mm. It didn't taste like Christmas though. No, it didn't. Although, that corn, corn soup stuff, mm -hmm. I've been told it's like a comfort food. Yeah. So maybe it is a Christmas food. Oh, it looks like it's cola flavored. There you go. One of your favorites. Yep. All right. <coughs> Something for just me. I just want a little piece. Sour paper? Sour paper? Okay. That's what it looks like. It's some, um, oh, what are they called? What are they called? They're like, they're usually blue, like sour strings or something. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, yeah? Uh -uh. Okay, I rip off a piece. Oh! There we go. <laughs> well, there's a piece of it. I'm about to eat it. It doesn't really smell like much. I guess that tastes like soda. Mm -hmm. Kind of lemony. Mm -hmm. I like it. It reminds like it me. Too. It reminds me of um. Oh, what is that candy called that comes? It comes in a little Starburst. Okay. It reminds me of Starburst. Like a slightly flavor. sour Starburst. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's not good. What? <laughs> that wasn't the thing, it was the side of the box. Huh. Oh. Oh, uh, this. The Pokemon something. Oh, cool. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's a Pokemon something. It is a Poke card. Yay! Here you go. Oh. Uh. I think these are grape jellies. They're okay. either grape jellies or those sticky things that you throw at the wall. Uh oh. <laughs> smell them and we'll figure it out. They smell like grape. They smell like grape? You ready? It's not sticky at all. Oh, it's a little it's bit sticky, sticky though. Yeah, it's kind of sticky. It looks like a Pokeball. Okay. That's food. I don't know. I kind of still want to throw it at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw it at the wall! Uh, maybe when we're done. I'm going to save this and see if it sticks to the wall because it's great and it's nasty. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty good. Is there a human outside the door or are we being haunted again? Anyway. Okay. 
So is that it? Is that everything? Is well, let me see. Oh, look. I guess the poke card is our special item. Yep. I guess that's it. The hmm. little. Honest to God, don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, everything was absolutely delicious, except this thing. But, I don't like not having the card, or the... the I don't, I don't like... The actual no toy would have been nice. An actual toy or something would have been nicer. Yeah, they usually card? do. card? This is kind of cheaping out. They don't usually do that. Like, they'll give you a card and something cool. Yeah. The only anyway. thing cool about this is the fact that it's in Japanese. So, that was December's Tokyo Treat. Yeah, so that happened. Like this if you like this. Comment. Subscribe for new videos Mondays and Fridays. Tune in next time when we do something else, like eat something, or open, open mail, or... Hopefully band box. Yeah, but I make no promises. Or a list. We can do a list or something. You never know. How about a movie review? We haven't done one of those before. Oh, we haven't done a movie review in a <laughs> while. Yeah. Ooh, I know what movie we should review. Krampus because it's Christmas? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. So stay tuned because there may or may not ever be a Krampus review. Ooh, you've got to watch Krampus. Bye! Bye. There you go. Oops. Is it falling off at all? It's not moving. That's disconcerting. Um, I ate that.